there. Today we're talking about the first 24 hours. So for the first 24 hours, you will still be in the hospital and uh, the baby will be actually staying with you in your room and sleeping, of course, in a cot right next to your bed. So you'll feel really safe and really secure. So this is really an important moment to adapt to your baby and develop also your uh, parental abilities and trust yourself that you are very capable of looking after your newborn. Uh, so the first 24 hours, what to expect? If you're breastfeeding, you'll see that uh, the baby drinks often and that's because he really has a really, really small, tiny stomach about this size and uh, so he cannot drink a lot of milk at once and uh, breast milk is di digested much faster as well. So don't be alarmed, this is completely normal. The colostrum, like I mentioned earlier, is the first milk, very, very rich in antibodies and very rich in nutrients. So even if he only has a little bit, because the mother's milk didn't come in yet, it will take from anywhere from three to five days. So the first part, of breastfeeding that first milk is uh, highly rich so don't worry if you don't have a whole lot if you give formula uh, the nurse will show you how to prepare it the first time so you get used to it when it comes to elimination some people expect a baby to have like wet diapers and that the first 24 hours there's only one pee usually so don't worry about that it's very normal um, when it comes to bowel movement, when you don't expect it, it might be a little shocking to see the substance that you find in the diaper. So it could be green to black substance, which is called meconium, and it has to be eliminated. Okay, this was inside your baby's uh, bowels. So it takes a few days for the baby to evacuate the meconium. So it don't be worried, it's totally normal. And uh, as the days go by, your baby, the, the stool will start changing. It's gonna change color and it's gonna change also the, the substance inside will change. So the first few days, the baby will have one to two bowel movement. So this is again, totally normal. When it comes to uh, bathing your baby, so the first day, um, no bath, okay? You can wash your baby's face, but there won't be a bath. There's always a demonstration by the nurse of how to wash your baby, how to take care of the umbilical cord as well. Um, that will take uh, usually 10 days before it falls off completely to two weeks. So what to do, what not to do. We don't recommend that you put any alcohol or any, um, ointment on it, you really just wash it with water and make sure it's dry. That's all that needs to be done. Uh, new moms also undergo changes in the first 24 hours. During those first hours, you may experience still more pain um, because the uterus needs to contract to make sure you, you don't bleed too much. There's no hemorrhage. So you will experience those contractions and um, the uterus to make sure that uh, the, the bleeding stop. And uh, for that reason, sometimes the doctor will prescribe some painkillers. If you're nursing, you'll also notice that uh, it happens uh, quite a lot, which is totally, totally normal. And it's actually very helpful. And you will return to more of a normal size. The uterus will return to its original size. Um, if you don't breastfeed, um, even if you do, the nurse will come and massage your uterus, which sometimes does not always feel good, but it is absolutely necessary to make sure that it doesn't stay soft because that would be actually a potentially dangerous situation where the bleeding could increase. So um, you need to understand that it's because of the wound left by the placenta. It will take anywhere from two to three weeks. So as time goes by, you'll notice that the bleeding, you know, slows down and disappears completely after. So that's it for this capsule. We'll see you in the next one.